Hi and welcome to the first video in a new video series in which I want to walk you through the basic steps of uh, creating a home automation system and we'll be doing that using the home, o home automation system called Demonix. Uh, what we will need for uh, that is a Raspberry Pi. I prefer the Model 3 uh, or up, so that's Model 3, 3B or 3B+. Plus. Um, you will need an SD card to store uh, the uh, image on. Uh, I recommend at least 16 gigs uh, with a class 10 uh, SD card. We will need the Raspberry uh, image, the, the operating system for the Raspberry Pi. You can download that from raspberrypi.org uh, and you can click download zip and it will download the image. Um, we will need Etcher to uh, write the image to the SD card and you can download that from etcher.io and we will need Putty to uh, connect to uh, the Raspberry Pi over, uh, over the internet so we can configure it and you can download that from putty.org First, you will need to insert your SD card in your, uh, into your computer and start Etcher. And when you started Etcher, I haven't, upda I haven't updated mine yet, skip. Uh, select the image. Uh, I did it, did it to my desktop, so I'll open the image. Uh, I select your SD card and click flash. It will prompt you and then you can, it will start uh, burning the image to the SD card and this takes a bit of time. Once Etcher is complete you can uh, go to uh, open your file explorer and uh, navigate to the boot partition that uh, just was created on the SD card. And we need to place a new file here and we call it SSH. What this does is it uh, enables you to, uh, it enables SSH um, by default. So we do not have to connect a monitor and keyboard to our Raspberry Pi uh, at first boot up. So yeah, that's uh, a really handy trick. I will uh, connect my Raspberry Pi and be right back. So now you have connected your Raspberry Pi to your uh, to the power supply and to your network. And um, I will not go into the details of uh, getting the IP address of your Raspberry Pi uh, because that will be different for everyone. Because uh, yeah, I do probably not have the same router as you do so uh, yeah I suggest searching the uh, the internet uh, for logging into your router and retrieving the uh, IP address of the Raspberry Pi uh, but uh, I've got my IP address and so we will uh, open Putty and I will enter my IP address I will open it and my the user default username is pi and the password is raspberry and you will need to enter it correct raspberry yes so uh, at first we will um, expand the file system this is so we can use the full space of the raspberry pi uh, now there will be uh, 4 gigs uh, or something allocated and we have a 16 gig uh, card so we will uh, so, we, so we do want to use all that space uh, so uh, what we will do is sudo rasp raspi dash config and we will go into the advanced options expand file system all right and then we're going to finish that and reboot the Raspberry Pi. This will take uh, a minute or something. And when that is complete, we can do restart session.
when we uh, restart the session we can log back in with username pi and raspberry and uh, now we need to uh, update and upgrade the raspberry pi because it's uh, the image you downloaded is uh, probably already out of date so uh, to do that uh, we type in sudo apt get update uh, and sudo apt get upgrade this will update your uh, uh, Raspberry Pi to the latest and greatest version. So now it asks us if uh, if it uh, can download and use additional disk space, and we want to uh, allow that. So push the Y and enter. Uh, now it's gonna update, download uh, a lot of stuff and update. And uh, yeah, this will probably take a while. So uh, sit back, relax, probably watch some other content on YouTube. Uh, and wait until uh, this is done. So once you have updated your Raspberry Pi, uh, you need to put in this command sudo curl l k install automatic curl com pipe through sudo bash. I will uh, put this command in uh, the video description so you can uh, copy paste it. Um, it will give you this screen and this will say that it will transform it into a server and you will need a static IP address for that so if you did not have set that up yet you will need to set that one up um, we want to enable HTTP and HTTPS because we are going to install a certificate in another episode of this series uh, you can change the HTTP port number over here, but I uh, will leave it at 8080 the default. So, in uh, on the forum, they will refer to 8080 and such. So you don't have to remember that you changed it. Uh, the same for the HTTPS port. Uh, the installation for I will leave at default too. Uh, now it is going to install. Domotix, it's going to request from the GitHub and clone into the Domotix folder. It is going to create it and it says it's already done. So we will type OK. Start on reboot done. So if we go to what did it say? One three six. One three six. Double dot eighty eighty. Let's see. Unable to connect. What have I done wrong? Um, I was connected to thirty three, but I connected Wi-Fi and the. Ethernet, so maybe that's the thing. Nope, I will uh, sudo service domotics start. Maybe that's a thing. Nope, I will come back in a minute when I have it running and explain the steps I took to get it running with it because it's uh, as you can see, the domotics folder is installed so. Uh, I'll check some steps. So I fixed it, uh, kind of. So I went through a couple of things, and the conclusion of it all is that it is working. But what I did is I did go to the direction uh, directory of domotics, that is uh, slash home slash pi slash domotics. Um, you are by default in the 
slash home slash pi yeah so if you do type cd domonix uh, you get in that folder i uh, executed this command this command and this command this gives uh, this puts the domotics.sh in the uh, startup tab and it gives um, the startup tab uh, the rights to execute it and then i update it to the latest beta uh, beta firmware of domotics um, that did all of this and restarted domotics and then i got to the ip address that was 8080 and i got to the dashboard so that is the uh, default install of uh, domotics finished uh, if you uh, manage to not get it up and running i will ask answer any questions in the, the comment section down below so feel free to ask and uh, maybe i will do a follow-up if, if needed so uh, i'll see you next time